نحمده و نصلي على رسول الكريم أما بعد جزاك الله خير for the question and I apologize for a very late reply. I hope you can understand uh, why it has been so delayed. Um, I had done a previous video, but they were lectures which I normally do on a Sunday uh, lessons, uh, and in that covered these topics of um, moon sighting, the Ruya to Hilal, uh, quite much in detail. Uh, but I am very, very briefly going to go uh, through this issue of the moon sighting. Uh, now, the brothers asked that why is it that the people are still doing um, global moon sighting? Why are they still following Saudi? Saudi scholars themselves are saying, don't follow uh, Saudi, don't follow us. And then there's a lot of ulama within ourselves, uh, like Mufakul ulama, they say that don't follow uh, Saudi, don't follow your local moon sighting. Um, so what's the issue and why are people still following uh, global moon sighting? Why are they still following Saudi Arabia? So to get the reality, to understand the reality of every subject, you must dig into the asal. The asal and the reality of this is that there is no such thing as Saudi moon sighting or Morocco moon sighting. These are just ways which they have been adapted to throughout the time and which is more appropriate for us. Uh, the real issue is Ittihad al mutali and Ikhtilaf al mutali So understanding the foundation of this, you must understand this first of all Ikhtilaf al mutali and Ittihad al mutali Ikhtilaf al mutali means your local moon sighting, like for example following Morocco or another local country. And the other one is Ittihad al mutali also known as Wahdatul uh, Mutali, this is uh, meaning that the global moon sighting. Imam Abu Hanifa himself is on the view of global moon sighting, not on local moon sighting. This is not the view. So, for all those people who say that uh, why are certain certain Hanafis not following the local moon sighting, then they need to really check up in their books, or that the Muftis are not telling them. Uh, that what is actually mentioned in the books of Fatawa, Alam al-Shami rahimahullah, he mentioned this very clearly, the Hanafi perspective of the moon sighting issue is the global moon sighting, local moon sighting is considered to be the weaker opinion in the Hanafi mazhab. This is the Imam al-Shafi rahimahullah, his view of the uh, uh, local moon sighting, for example, following uh, Morocco. Okay, so this is, first of all, it is the Hanafi position and it is mentioned in Radul Mukhtar. Alam al-Shami rahimahullah has mentioned in his Fatawa Radul Mukhtar. And this is a very well-known uh, book to all the Hanafis. For the last hundreds of years, this is the book which the Hanafi scholars use. In fact, no uh, Hanafi can become a Mufti uh, unless he has studied the book of Alam al-Shami rahimahullah. And this is what the Hanafi scholars accept. And what he had mentioned in his book clearly, uh, and he says, وَزَاهِرُ رِوَايَةِ السَّانِي وَهُوَ الْمُعْتَمِدُ إِنْ دَنَا وَإِنْدَ الْمَالِكِيَّةِ وَهَنَابِلَ لِيَتْعَلَّكُ لِخِتَابَ عَمَلًا بِمُطْلَكِ رُؤْيَةِ فِي الْحَدِيثِ سُومُوا لِرُؤْيَتِهِ بِخِلَافِ أَوْقَاتِ الصَّلَاةِ He mentions very clearly uh, about this, uh, the two positions, which is one, the in regard to the Ru'ya to Hilal, number one is the global moon sighting, one is the uh, local moon sighting. So he mentions that the global moon sighting is the Sahih Rewayat. This is what we will take into consideration. This is Imam Abu Hanifa's view. Okay, and it is also called the Malikiya and the majority of the Hanabila as well. So this is very clear and he also mentioned that those people who try to argue that well, your namaz, when you do that, do you do that according to the global timing or do you do it according to your local timing? He says very clearly here that this masala is different. Every masala has its own uh, usul. It is uh, derived from different hadiths. So we must uh, not use these kind of uh, ways to distract the people from not following the global moon sign. So according to Imam Hanifa, the view is of the global moon sighting and this is mentioned in al Mukhtar, it is also mentioned in Fatul Qadir as well. Wa ila sabata fi misri lazima sa'ira nas he mentions that when 
uh, a certain city has uh, seen the moon sighting, then it is binding on all the people to follow that moon sighting. فَيَلْزَمُ أَحْلَ الْمَشْرِكِ بِرُؤْيَةِ أَحْلَ الْمَغْرِبِ فِي ذَاهِرِ الْمَزْهَبِ وَكِيلَ يَخْتَلَفُ بِاخْتِلَفِ الْمُطَالِئِ And he goes on to mention that uh, the people of the East are obliged to follow the sighting of the people of the West according to the sounder's position. And then he mentioned that اِخْتِلَفُ uh, الْمُطَالِئِ يعني كي the, uh, the local moon sighting is the weaker opinion uh, and he mentions very clearly that the global moon sighting is what should be taken into consideration. This is the Hanafi perspective and it is quite shocking to know that a lot of these Hanafis who do not even know what's in their books, okay, they do not know what's I mean, mentioned in their books of fatawa and then they are going out to argue with those people who are not following. My point to highlight is that you must respect this view. And it is not only Imam Hanifa rahimahullah, Ibn Abdul Bar rahimahullah also goes on to mention about this Malikiyah view and there are hundreds of scholars, hundreds of scholars who have clearly said that that Ittihadul Mutari, the global moon sighting is what we take into consideration. They are giants of in the field of fiqh and hadith in the past 1000 years okay who are taking this who are saying that you must follow your uh, global moon sighting now they, we cannot completely ignore them and saying that these people who are following saudi now the next question comes where saudi come from okay so when you talk about uh, ittihad al mutali yani the uh, the global moon sighting that means that the qazi can now pick one of the countries which uh, he wants to, uh, like for example, Iran or Pakistan, Turkey, Africa or Saudi Arabia. It just happens to be that our scholars, they decided to pick Saudi Arabia because of ease. Okay, so that is the reason why they do it. Even the scholars themselves in Saudi Arabia, they say that why are you following our, our moon sighting? And they say don't follow our moon sighting. This has got nothing to do with them. We ourselves are doing this because this is our choice. We make the choice of who to follow. We are not binding upon any scholars from Saudi Arabia or from anywhere else that uh, who we need to follow. We just follow this because this is where Rasulullah was. This is where Medina Sharif is. And we respect that more than any other land. So we choose to follow Saudi Arabia. And this is in relation to Ittihadul Mutali. Okay, and this is the Hanafi view. Now, the other view is Ikhtilaful Mutali, which is the uh, local moon sighting. I, my personally self, like the second view, which is in regard to the local moon sighting. I am in favor for this because of the hadith of Quraib, who is a Tabi'in, and this hadith is mentioned in Sahih Muslim. Uh, and it is an incident which took place uh, at the time of the Sahaba Abdullah ibn Abbas, anhu, and also Muawiyah when they were the Khalifa. And even at that time, they adapted the view of the local moon sighting, not the global moon sighting. So this is where I think, subhanAllah, we have a, even a Khalifa. We don't even have a Khalifa at this specific time. So a job of Khalifa, when he says that you must, must do something, then it is binding upon everyone to follow that. But we see from this hadith, the hadith of Quray, very famous hadith in Sahih Muslim, where he was sent on a mission by Umm Fadl radiallahu anha uh, to Sham. And he says when he got there, he seen the moon on a Friday. He followed that. And when he came back later on to Medina, uh, Abdullah ibn Abbas asked him in regard to when did you see the moon? We saw it on Saturday. So he himself clearly said that we are not binding on uh, Muawiyah but rather we will follow our local moon sighting. So this clearly shows that the local moon sighting is one of the main views that was don't buy the Sahaba Ikram and the Tabi'een. So we must respect this view. And also in regard to the global moon sighting, they are giants of Fuqaha and Muhaddisin who have adopted this view. And the main point to highlight is we must respect both of these views and not go too extreme and to say that this is wrong, what here people are doing, you know, why are they following Saudi? So that is, like I mentioned, it is in regard to the uh, Ittihad al that is the global moon sighting. Uh, we are not binding on any other scholar or any Saudi person to what, who should we follow and who we should not follow. Okay, so this is completely up to us. We, we choose to follow Saudi Arabia out of our own will. And also in regards to uh, 
the history of what happened here in the UK. They used to follow at one point the Morocco moon sighting, but this became an issue in the 80s. Uh, and I don't want to mention the whole history, but then they went on to um, following the Saudi moon sighting because this news came a lot more quicker. Okay, so then they now some of the scholars went back to Morocco moon sighting. So our like Wifakul Ulama, uh, they follow the uh, the the local moon sighting. So Wifakul Ulama, they first of all go out and see the moon themselves, which is the Sunnah. This is a proper Sunnah way, not to just go and to rely on other countries. That is later on. Okay, I make, must make this very clear. You do not just go and follow any of the local countries. Uh, who you want to follow but rather the first step is that you must do your own ru'yat if you do not see the moon then you can go as a second step towards either global moon sighting or local moon sighting I hope that makes the matter clear may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make matters easy for us subhanallah